So it is that time of year where we get to see some of the brand new drivers for 2022. And today I'm going to surprise one of my best friends who's not seen them yet, get his first impressions, get him hitting them and see exactly what he thinks to two of what could be the best selling drivers of 2022. And I'm going to do it now. You see guys, I love this time of year because we get to test some of the brand new product that comes into the shops. And I'm a little bit of a magpie, as you all know. So today we're surprising one of my good friends who are in the studio here at Woolly Park Golf Club because as you can see, it's not a very nice day. So I've told him we're gonna come up here, we're gonna hit some balls, we're gonna have a bit of a practice, but I'm gonna surprise him because he's just as much of a magpie as I am. And we're gonna see what he makes of them because sometimes videos and pictures don't always do these clubs justice do they so guys get in the comments below have you seen them yet have you tried them yet and are you potentially going to go and get fitted for one of these new drivers let's get in there hello yeah, right. yeah you i have got well, these to show you i didn't think you had no. just give it a boot mate it's all right <laughs> <laughs> so first reactions guys we've got the TaylorMade Stealth Plus. Yeah. So this is the immovable weight one. This is pretty much the one that we would probably game. It's a little bit more low spin than the standard Stealth. And we've got the Callaway Rogue ST Max. That's more the kind of forgiving one. Yeah. But what do you make of these two clubs? Well, I'm going to be honest. That's all you can be. That's all we can be, mate. I thought that this were going to be Mickey Mouse. Yeah. I thought this red face was, when I saw pictures online, we aren't seeing it in person, I thought, well, what a Mickey Mouse thing to do. So one of the things I've said in the car on the way here, because obviously we've, we've said we're going to meet up to some balls, but I wanted yeah. to show you these. Sometimes pictures don't do clubs justice. And when I, I first saw a leak of this on Facebook before I even went to see the guys at TaylorMade, and I thought it looked hideous. Yeah. Then you kind of get into the real world of what shapes it has and what lines it has, and it's totally different, it's isn't it? It's definitely not. You know what you when you see it in person it's not as bright as what you see in pictures it no. actually you know you don't see it so much at address too much what got me as well was if you can hear that rub your rub oh, your nail across like that no. it's so it's actually got grooves in it guys because right. with it being oh, a carbon yeah. face yeah they had to get the optimum spin characteristics and launch characteristics right to get so they had to put the grooves in it basically it's definitely something from top that you don't sort of put you don't put your off does no. it so how are we going to do this? Do you want to hit a couple with your... So if you remember, guys, Gaz has the Titleist TSI 3 driver. I tried to tempt you into the 4... No, I... this is mine, isn't it? It is yours, yeah. Yeah, they... sorry, that's the one that should have been given away but never was because you beat me. So I'm quite surprised you've still got that in, actually. I'm actually loving it. Yeah? I'm really loving Should we hit it? a couple with that and yeah. then we'll jump into these two and see? So the one thing I will say is we don't have the LS yet. But this might be right down your street because you do like a bit of a... Can I tell you my first impression on that as well? Absolutely. Well, I'm surprised they haven't changed its name. Why this is not... one thing I said in my review. About, is yeah, it? Yeah. Because people are going to think, well, it's not any, it's no different to old one. Yeah. You know, although it is different, you can tell it's a lot different in looks. So the story behind this, and the funny thing is, Gaz, you told me the story behind the red face on that. Yeah. Do you know what the story is on the Callaway? And I don't. Exactly, and that's where the marketing that, comes in brilliantly for TaylorMade, isn't it? Right. So the story is they've artificially, artificially intelli no, they've artificial intelligently, I'm not getting this, <laughs> am I? They've AI designed the jailbreak, so the jailbreak's a little bit different shape, right. and that's supposed to make the driver structurally stronger from top to bottom. I do get that when I test it. I feel that, definitely. Yeah, and I do actually love the jailbreak technology. Yeah, you do, you don't know, you? I felt it in Epic when I first got the Epic, original Epic. And uh, I've not had a, a, a one since, but... Uh, so I'll tell you what we'll do, guys. We'll, uh, we'll load up on the system here and we'll get you comparing them. So you've been here a while anyway, so you've had a bit of a warm-up, have you? Yeah, I've been hitting it about 280. I'm not busting it. I'm just, you know, putting nice, nice swings in it. So, guys, what we're going to do at the end of this video, we're going to have a long drive. And if I outdrive Gaz, guess where that TS3 is going? <laughs> You're not having it back. No, it's going to go to one of the subscribers, guys. No comment below. <laughs> Gaz, <laughs> hit that subscribe button and leave us a like. And if I beat Gaz in a long drive at the end of this video, that is yours. Wow. It was supposed to go anyway. <laughs> that's tight. <laughs> right. That's funny. Right, we're going to hit a few, like three each. Oh. Yeah, go three each with them. You've had a warm up, have you? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, how good is that? It's not bad. Go on. Yeah, you know, they're about my numbers as well. This I'm is going to be so close. <laughs> what would you be looking for, Gaz? So if I hadn't brought these today, yeah. you wouldn't really be that bothered, would you? Because you, you're quite happy with I, that. I'm definitely not looking to change it. I mean, obviously, I might be forced to change it, but, um, <laughs> you know, I, I, I think when you find a driver that you're comfortable with, mm -hmm. you, you've got to try and stick with them a little bit. Yeah. You can't just keep swapping drivers. This is what we've both been bad with in the past, isn't it? Definitely. Um, what am I looking for? I don't think I'm looking for one, James, for being honest. That felt nice, that one. Looks yeah, a that's a nice that. fade. What's that out there? That's carrying... Oh, interesting. So the spin must have been up on that. That didn't quite carry quite as far. That's better. Yeah, that's good. That's one of mine, mate. That's moving off to the left a touch. Yeah, that's a good 280 carry. That's decent, mate. 301 total, 302 mm. total. Right, should we move on? Yeah. So I'm going to say now as well, we're going to play a bit of a game here. These are both on the shelf, Gaz. Not in the shop that you work in, but you right. maybe, you've gone into American Golf just to have a look. Yeah. Which one would you be picking? Wow, that, that's a great question. Because after everything I said about stealth looking Mickey Mouse, it would be the stealth. And that's where I know a lot of people online have been saying, oh, the red face, I could never use red face, it looks silly, it looks daft. Yeah. You wait till they're in shops, mate, because they will fly out. I was that person. Yeah. I was that person. <laughs> TaylorMade aren't daft, are they? No. Let me just change this. And interestingly, you look at the marketing behind TaylorMade, and I always like to look at kind of other people's reviews and videos as well. Yeah. So Rick, for example, his video on the stealth, it'll be knocking on a million views now, yeah. whereas his video on the Callaway, absolutely nowhere near. Yeah. So it just shows kind of people's interest. Is it their interest or is it that the red face was on the thumbnail? Because yeah. my video for the stealth's done quite well as well. For me, anyway. That's his first shot ever with a Stealth Plus. It's a high right. I'll tell you what, um, feel-wise, it's it's not too... It's not, I weren't expecting that. Yeah, I expected it to be softer, whereas yeah. it's still got that feel of a titanium, hasn't it? It's not got that kind of... If anyone remembers that Callaway C4, which were yeah. sort of fully carbon fibre driver, it sounded like a... And that's the first thing I said when I went down to see the guys at TaylorMade about this. I yeah. mentioned that exact driver and they said, it's nothing, nothing like. No, the sound's actually quite appealing. There's 60 layers of carbon, I believe, in this face. <laughs> Bit cutty again. What's that running up to? That's running up to 290. 290. Interesting. I don't think that's quite as far as your TSI 3, no. which you have fallen in love with. And I think it's going to be really interesting now to try this because I don't think this will be as long, but all we've spoken about at the moment is distance. Whereas if we do look at actually some of these ball flights, that's almost getting into the realm of where you don't want to be. Yeah. So let's have a look at this Callaway and see if the stability behind that with the new jailbreak helps. I mean, that's a, a big head, isn't it? It is a very big head. So obviously there's four different versions of this, guys. There's the Callaway, look at that flicker in there because of the light. There's the Callaway Rogue ST Max, Callaway Rogue ST Max D, Callaway Rogue LS and Callaway Rogue ST Triple Diamond LS. Wow. So the Triple Diamond one is where, you know, when we were like 23, 22, yeah. we'd have gone for that even though we couldn't keep it on the planet. <laughs> this does, uh it looks big behind the ball. Does it look like a Ping G425 to you? Yeah, 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 it does actually. Sort of like that dull finish. <laughs> Surprisingly, that felt really nice. Look where that is as well, straight through the middle of the Titleist and the TaylorMade. 270-ish carry. You should never probably preempt what something's going to be like, should you, until you've no. tried it. No, Like that ball flight there, we look at it, so that's the blue one pretty much straight down there that is really really good for you not you know for what? you but for if i was fitting you now yeah i would say this is probably going to be like though my ts2 yeah I'm absolutely yeah fair way i mean we look at the backspin there just over your shoulder and it's yeah. two eight so that is a little bit ideally we'd knock 500 off that wouldn't we yeah a 
again, it's just, I know with this, I could have been straight all day long. Yeah. You know, to and some I, degree. I honestly think, I mean, that, I mean, that's carrying 276. Yeah. I honestly think that's where Callaway are trying to go with this. They're not claiming to smash it out of the park, but, I mean, those two there, again, 2798. See, so consistency there is very, very good, isn't it? Yeah. Last one, mate, and if uh, you might want to step on it because I'm, uh, <laughs> right. I'm gearing up. I better do answer. I don't want to give that driver away. Oh, he's hit that one hard. He's hit that one very hard. Watch it go. Oh. It's another kind of 277, isn't it? Two, 296. Are we going total finish. or are we going carry? Well, I want, what's in my favour? Uh, well, that was a 276 carry. You got the spin down there. 2465 so as soon as you see the spin drop yeah you're there should we have a look at those comparables to start with yeah so we have only got three shots with each obviously you'd like to do more for a proper comparison but this is just a bit of fun so the stealth plus averages 159 ball speed spin at 2982 so that kind of shows how you've hit it realistically and 258 carry 277 total the rogue st max 160 ball speed so 0.5 more it's been in a little bit lower at 2.7 and a carry up there at 2.72, 2.91 total. That's the longest one for you today and your TSI 3. Ball speed down and this is where the new drivers maybe are coming to their own with regards to ball speed. However, look at that spin at 2.5. That's why it's middle of the pack at 2.68 and 2.90 total. Mm. What are your thoughts? I would say that Rogue custom fitted could be a better driver for me i quick, think so quick yeah ball speed off the face lower spinning shaft a lower spinning shaft could be a better driver so it might not be a bad idea to give this away <laughs> <laughs> i'd be interested to see as well with the stealth i don't think they're your best three shots but testing's testing and unfortunately you've just not quite maybe performed with it like you would want to there's always going to be some clubs you pick up and you know you put down and you're not as confident with it. I and I, I, you know what very rare will i stand up for you yeah but that's the first time he's hit one and sometimes it does take a little bit of time doesn't it just to yeah. get the the weight of the shaft and, and, or and you guys will know i, I don't use telemade drivers if you put that down that's a bit like your sim 2 isn't it so yeah you probably just hit ground running with i must it. admit that's the one i'm going to go with to try and knock it past you is it yeah. <laughs> Solid. Go. Go. Oh, go on. Ooh. Two nine eight. Wow. So about that spin was two ish. Two four. Oh God, I'm hitting it as hard as I can. Yeah, that's gonna be. What's that carrying? That two. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That was thinking about what Bright told 310. me. 310. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm going to finish the video Making there. Off floor. What are your thoughts on uh, the new clubs? Quick, 15 seconds, go. Stealth is going to be a massive hit. It's going to fly. Go and see it. Rogue, you know, it surprised me trying it. I think anybody who tries it will, if it gives you them numbers, I mean, I could be tempted. If I could afford it, I'd probably be getting fit for one of them. Yeah. Because it looks like it could work out better. So. But you're going to stay with your freebie for now. <laughs> for freebie for now, until you guys win it. <laughs> yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed that. If you have, smash that subscribe button. Go and check out Gary Martin Golf as well. Smashing it at the moment, actually. Some big growth. I've, I'm buzzing with it. I can't believe it. I, I hit my goal at 10,000 last year, and I'm hoping to get to 1 million. <laughs> but, but no, what? 